And we got to talk about this now. An excessive heat warning is in effect right now for our desert areas, and you know other parts of the county are going to feel it too. Yeah, just hot out. CBS 8's Shannon Handy is in East County today. She joins us live now from Santee Lakes, where people, well, people including a lot of kids having fun, yes. are cooling off. Shannon. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Carlo and Kirsten, adults can come out here too. In fact, I saw Kirsten earlier and she was saying that her and her fiance are looking for places to cool off. Well, Kirsten, here you go. You come here to Santee Lakes. This, of course, is a popular destination in part because of the splash pad, which you can see lots of kids are taking advantage of right now. Now, today it got up into the 80s, and while that may not seem too hot for some, it's the hottest it's been here in quite some time. So today, people were finding different ways to stay cool. It's been really nice, like in the 70s, and now it's picking up into the 80s and 90s, so why not just enjoy the pool? I talked to one mom who brought her two-year-old daughter to the YMCA in Santee, where other people had the same idea today. The aquatics manager there told me she's getting a lot of calls from people asking if their pool is open, which it is. In fact, tomorrow, they're going to open up their entire pool, including the kid area, for the first time in about two and a half years. So while the pool was open, the kid area has not been. For members, it's free. For Santee residents, it's $4 and $15 for everyone else. Another option if you're trying to stay cool this weekend is to head to one of our county's cool zones, including libraries. The county opened them up last week. Meanwhile, back at the YMCA, I spoke to a kid who says he knows where he'll be this weekend. Like, I'm having a lot of fun, actually. And you're cooling off, too. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't have the heat anymore. And I haven't had a chance to talk to these kids, but I have a feeling that they have the same thoughts on this. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Don't splash me, okay? This little one, he got me with that gun earlier. <laughs> He's looking at me now. <laughs> but they're having so much fun. You know, as always, I know that we talk about ways to cool off, and these kids are having a great time. But this is a serious issue because, of course, in our desert areas, it's going to be really, really hot up there. So, as always, you got to keep some things in mind. You know, drink a lot of water, check on your elderly, check on your pets. But if you can, get outside and have some fun someplace cool like here at Santee Lakes. Guys, I'm going to pass it back to you guys. I'm surprised that you are still dry at this point because they are having a lot of fun with those water guns. I'm not. I'm not. You should see the back of my dress. Uh, I don't have eyes in the back of my head, but apparently some kid thought it'd be funny to shoot me with. Oh, we lost her oh, right there. Right when it got good. Well, Shannon, all I can tell you is that uh, on the air check, you'll see it was the, the little guy right back there. Yeah. He was, he, he knew you weren't looking. You can't he play on just, live TV. We don't find shoot, you. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was having fun with that. Hey, look, if I was that kid, I would have been doing the same. I was right? It, it was irresistible, Couldn't okay? Resist it. For the very latest on the heat and how long it's going to last, we turn down to Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Carlene.